Hey, what's up my chemistry people? It is Mr. Boylan in the house. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a quick couple of problems here to help us identify whether or not a change is a physical change or a chemical change based on what we can observe in a chemical equation. Okay, now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a circle around the reactants, boom, and a square around the products, boom. As I compare my reactant side to my product side, my reactants to my products, products to reactants, do I think that this is a physical change or a chemical change? Has the identity of my reactants changed or stayed the same? If you guessed chemical change, you would be correct. Why? The identity of my reactants have changed. On the reactant side, I've got magnesium as an element, oxygen as an element. But on my product side, magnesium and oxygen have formed a compound. A new bond has been formed. How do I know that? We didn't talk about that, Boylan. Good point. Notice on the reactant side, the symbols for magnesium and oxygen are separated by a plus sign. But on the product side, symbols for magnesium and oxygen are butt up right next to one another. No plus sign in between. Compound. All right, let's take a look at this next one. Boom, reactants. Bam, here are my products. Do I think this is chemical change or physical change? If you guessed chemical change, you are correct. Why? Has the identity of my reactants changed? Answer, yes. Here, hydrogen and chlorine are together in a compound. Here, zinc is by itself. These things are not bonded together because they are separated by a plus sign on the reactant side. On the product side, notice what has happened. The chlorine is now bonded with the zinc and the hydrogen is now in its elemental form. Identity change, chemical change. Bonds have been broken, new bonds have been formed. Chemical change, chemical change. All right, let's take a look at this last example here. Reactants, products. Do we think this is chemical change or physical change? Answer, physical. Boom. That's an I I can spell. Physical. phys i -cal. Physical. Notice, as you examine the reactants and examine the products, their identity has not changed. What has changed is the phase in which we find that material. Three guesses what the L stands for. Liquid. G stands for gas. So basically what has happened here is some water has evaporated, but it's still H2O, just in a different phase. Boom, we are done.